do my people hate me? No, they still like me. Okay, good. Even after I said don't go to your daughter's wedding, they still like me. <clears throat> you can't go home. No, no. Sorry, Barton. You're not tired enough to go home. <laughs> Let's go Chopin. I, it's such a sad song, Cello Sonata, but I just, I love some Chopin. No! My snitch was killed! Spain flunked? What? Oh, Sullivan passed. Okay. Um, please give me everything. Anyone good here? Nope. So... Hmm... I have to hire a new snitch. That's that's all there is to it. Har's dead. Let's have it be Kuzma. I like making it the detectives. They're less valuable to me. An informant gave us an address for one of the biggest drug houses in the city. According to our information, there's about three dozen drug addicts, many of them armed. Just past, just the past day, three of the people were shot dead and thrown in a corner to rot. That's so fucked. There's so many people I need for this. Like, Pongdana and Song can stay behind in case something serious happens. Everyone else goes. And hopefully nothing comes up while they're gone. You know, that's all we can hope for. Physical education teacher noticed a suspicious van parked near the school. There's no one inside, but I heard some strange machine running in the back, just like in the movies. Do we need to evacuate the school? That's fake. Guaranteed that's fake. I know. I, I, I just all said we have to go to all bomb threats. We can't. No. Not that one. In the shadows and corners, dozens of people lay unconscious in bags and syringes are scattered everywhere. <clears throat> um, I guess call an ambulance and process them. Naked addict with the shotgun flies out of the bathroom. He starts putting holes in the ceiling. Is this the police? Because yesterday I saw someone sell me drugs and I get some. Huh? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna send officers right over to arrest both of you, Narex. Yeah. Um. Shoot him. That's all I can do is shoot him. Yeah. Good job. Found some heroin. Yeah, sending no one to the bomb threat. That's garbage. Why me? You bought the drugs. You said you got some. You bought the drugs. You're going down. Four activists from the group Life After Me in a show of support for their fellow animals entered the zoo and used bolt cutters to remove the locks from cages. Several wild animals have gotten loose and some are tagging the zoo's visitors. Okay, that's fucked. And give them to the police? Oh, if you gave them to us, um, fine, whatever. We'll, we'll do the drugs, you'll not do the time. That's fine. Alright, Bailey, Kochi, Song... Trevor, Barton, Numata. I, I'm sending a lot of people because I feel like I feel like this is a big one. No bombs, just a bunch of antiques. Yep. Let's play whiskey tinged. progress. We've got a call from the Halal Grocery to armed robbers wearing U.S. president masks. Just cleaned out the cash box. I'm sending the big guns on that one. I... No, no. You're not getting any help. Good job. You didn't need the help. Several people are smashing the glass entrance to the cinema, tearing up posters outside. They're shouting modern cinema corrupts the youth, and someone just pulled out a Molotov cocktail. I don't remember 
why didn't you change the description? Oh shit, really? Thank you! Thank you! That's totally my bad. I totally forgot. There we go, that's better. <clears throat> Actually, let me, let me check the catalog. Do we have anything in there? No, okay. That's just stuff for later. Fuck, I, I almost forgot to send people to this because of that. Song and Darnell can stay just in case. Good job. My old rival Jim Gates has returned to the city. Last few years he spent in China setting up his factories. Now he wants me to flood the city with cheap knockoffs, threatening every honest businessman to Freeburg. Present time he is staying at the True Color Hotel. Plans to buy a house outside the city. I want you to show him true terror capable law enforcement agencies. He's to understand he's not welcome here in Freeburg. According to Mr. Adams, the earth is about to get struck by a giant meteor. No, that's fake. Wait, oh, domestic disturbance. Okay, that is real. Wait, no. There's stones falling on my roof. They're from the meteor. One of them broke my kitchen window? What? What are you talking about? No, that's fake. That's fake. That's fake. But life hack that can get you food for free at the store? Wanna hear it? Yeah. Is it just steel? Because I, I knew that one already. Mr. Jacob Jacobski Jacobski withdrew a large sum from his bank account. Then, when he was getting into his car and carrying a gun, approached him from behind. He told me not to turn around and hand over the money. Then he ran away. When I finally turned around, I saw a tall figure in the hood dugging up the alley. <clears throat> Pongdana song. Uh, hold on. Let's let's send you here and send you here. And hope nothing serious happens. One of those hooligans is trying to light a Molotov. Seems like a light pack to get arrested. I have a gun, yeah? Yeah, I, I agree with um, Zach Labor Jr., the greatest name in the industry. I agree. One of these hooligans is trying to light a Molotov cocktail, but his lighter won't strike. Um, grab the cocktail. Yeah. <clears throat> Good job. You get arrested because you don't like my life hack. <laughs> a hailstorm. That makes sense. That makes sense. Former chef of a restaurant in Chinatown says the kitchen is used to sort of heroin. My friend had an overdose from the kitchen. They mix up in there. I want those bastards to pay. Okay. Okay. Hopefully our people come back in time. It looks like they will. Yeah, we can do that. We can do that call. So the Atticus Corp gave us 6k, okay, I, I'm not giving you any help. Good job. Local fans have brought up all the bananas. Nevaeh said she steals from stores already. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is not true. This is, this is, um, libel. This is libel, Nerex. Local fans have bought up all bananas at the grocery stores, preparing to taunt the visiting rival football team, which consists almost entirely of dark skinned men. A judge has been forced to stop the game unless fans will allow order to be restored. Our fans don't seem to want to settle down. They're singing racist songs and working each other up into a frenzy. The situation could get ugly. Fuck. Dirt cheap. <clears throat> so this is tough. Our people might get- what the fuck? Wait. An elderly widow was visiting the grave of her husband and she heard, she heard some terrible sounds. Wheezing, moaning, and rustling as if someone- okay, that's fake. Good. Um, this might be real, so I gotta send everyone. And then just hope people get back in time for the mass riot? Oh fuck, I sent SWAT to that. I need SWAT for the riot. Oh my god, another one! 
Park was raided by the young musical group Motorman, which had staged a spontaneous anti-government concert and immediately pulled in dozens of fans. That's fine. They can do that. I don't care. It's fine. The, uh, the riot's more important. Oh, they don't even want SWAT. Done. Do, do, do your disorderly conduct all you want. Do your concert. Noise complaint? Um... Uh, I've, wow! They're... They're... They, they, the gay nightclub they're complaining about. They called them queers. No, 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 no. I'm not sending anyone. Restaurant is crowded with waiters moving smoothly between tables. Nothing suspicious. Um. Enter through the back door. One of the waiters noticeably shouts in a strange language. The diners run up and jumps towards the door. Detain the guests and question them. Two tough-looking men with machine guns open fire on the cops. Fall to the ground and shoot their legs. Yes! Good job! Yes! I really have a gun? See? Oh no! Okay, fine. I'll, um, give you my food or whatever? Okay, this was a parrot. Great. This was real. I don't care. I don't care. It's not as important as those other calls were. This is bullshit. Technically was real. I don't care. I don't care. Yeah, you can have everyone. It's the end of the day. You can have whatever you want. There you go. These calls were more important. You gotta, you gotta prioritize, you know? These are the more important calls. No one's in danger due to that concert. They might be annoyed, sure, but this riot could kill people. These drugs could kill people. Those guys with the guns could kill people. This went great, good job. And already killed someone. Oh no. Um, declare dead. We're not doing delay the paperwork shit. City Hall still likes us. It's good. <clears throat> I hate that you can't. No, you can't. No, you can't. I'm sorry. No. Stop asking to leave. You have to stay. I need you. The city needs you. The town of Freeburg needs you. You have a boyfriend? I have a girlfriend. I have Riley. Raise, sweet. Officer slot, sweet. Oh, new people. New people. We have a lot of officer slots, so... We can just hire them wherever. A, B... Um, A, no, B, A. Dennis Wolf, I definitely want, so let's hire him for B. And I don't want you to. Tina Kennedy, I don't want as well. She doesn't seem very good. We got a detective slot, awesome. Megadopolis flunked their exams. Curtis passed, though. Good job, Curtis. Does that mean it's impossible to get a child? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it does. We, we cannot have a child, and I don't really want one, so I don't think that's an issue. We could adopt, technically. An apparently intoxicated driver flew into the oncoming lane and crashed into a van, which then crashed into five other vehicles. Uh, the drivers of the vehicles escaped with their lives, but jumped out of the cars and began to argue. A conflict ensued, and the situation is about to get ugly. Yeah, we, we, we could adopt a child if we wanted. I don't want, but, you know, technically. Yeah, I, I think those officers can handle it. An employee at the Inner House Hardware Store said that 
A suspicious man named Otis Adams ordered a very strange combination of objects which could easily be used to make explosives. Admas. Admas? Hey, uh, fix your game? That's a misspelling! Admas has a pretty colorful police record, including a bomb threat. Okay. Vela. Samadhi. Spain. I, I have to leave everyone else here just in case another serious call comes up, like this. Young teachers reported, reported seeing the same suspicious white man parked near the school several days in a row. Whenever I walked towards it, the fan drove away. I'm afraid for our students. That could be real. That could be fucking real. <sighs> okay, they dealt with that. I'm sending people. I feel like I have to, because it could be real. All right, let's 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 play another song. Hush money is the only one I've been ignoring, so that's the one. Can you check this out? Sure. Let me let me check it out. <clears throat> Guy sneezes, I have a boyfriend. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh my god, that's crazy. The police approach the suspect's front door. She, she, The girl in the video reminds me of Angela from The Office. That's the vibe I get. Um, open up, it's a delivery. Man in a chemical protection suit seeing the police rushes to a bedside table and searches frantically for something. Point a gun and order him not to move. Good job. People are back. Five teenagers asked the man for cigarettes, but he said they were too young. The kids jumped him, knocked him to the ground, and started kicking him with full force. Waitress Nicole Shelton saw what was going on and called the police. Those guys are crazy. They'll kill him. Thief attempted a little sleight of hand to retrieve Sherry Miller of her diamond, relieve her of her diamond ring. She immediately felt something was wrong with the criminal excruciating Japanese finger hold. The son of a bitch is unconscious. You can come arrest him now. He's unconscious. I mean, I can just send like one person, right? Two people. <clears throat> okay, this we can send like you guys. This we can send, like, you two. Fuck! <laughs> Some workers were squabbling during their lunch breaks discussing yesterday's football game when one of them became really irate, tried to drive the others with the tractor. What? According to one eyewitness who had taken refuge inside the building, he's like a crazy man we barely escaped. Come back, come back. People are coming back. Um, it was a courier. That makes sense. I figured it was fake, but I had to try Yes, uh, yes, I do have autism, yes. Okay, we're sending everyone to that. Please, everyone, come back. They're coming back. I said that for a joke? Oh. <laughs> I mean, it's in my tags on Twitch, so I, I assumed you just saw that. Or, you know, could tell. Also fair. Um... Teens continue to beat an old man, ignoring the police car that drove up. Grab the aggressive ones. Teenage thugs see the police, they start running off. Fire into the air. Yeah. I didn't see it. Yep. Yep, I am autistic. Some big men wearing striped shirts walked in the fountain and started trying to drown each other. Come quick before they all kill each other. 
now. This is swimmers. That's swimmers. That's not real. Yeah, yeah, real, real. A group of angry. Okay, see ya. A group of angry women came to protest the premiere of Hard Boiled Women 2. They're demanding the cinema's management cancel the premiere. The situation is heating up. Okay, I'd like more people to come. Good job. Yep, they were having fun. They're Russian immigrants. Oh, okay. <clears throat> the immigrant calls. So many immigrant calls. I, I gotta send everyone to this. Sullivan and Robbins are back. Oh, Sullivan, that is. Michael May saw a young girl running naked and bloody, trying to climb over a fence of an expansion mansion. She screamed and called for help, but then a man came out of the house, grabbed her by the air, and dragged her inside. What is this, um, like, hard candy? <laughs> the neighbors were complaining just last week about all-night parties at the same mansion, which is owned by Saudi Prince Molly Kevaya. Okay, not hard candy, not hard candy. Oh, shit. I'm not gonna give you a sob story about all my recent misfortunes. Let's just say I need my job back with the police. Oh my god, it's Ozaki! What the fuck? What the fuck? I... Huh? This is crazy. I do mean need you'll help me out but on this, right? You'll be retired soon, so I'll get a little advance payment for my annual salary. It's only fair. It's not in your best an interest to refuse. I know about all your shady business dealings. This one phone call is all things. He's blackmailing me. I don't want to go against you, but I really need this job. You know, will you agree, right? Yes, 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 Ozaki, come back. I know you're as sharp as ever. Some folks say you're the fool. Jack Boyd is no fool. I don't think I've ever seen- Why is he five? <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? This is crazy. Oh my god, Ozaki's back and his stats are gone. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Janet at City Hall called this about a suspicious man sitting in the waiting room. He's twitching and looking sideways. Look at everyone. He's skinny, but has got a really fat belly. I think he's carrying a bomb. That's not a bomb. No, I disagree. So this seems serious. I don't know. I feel like I gotta send like everyone. Right? Just in case. Just in case. We'll only send four. Five, I mean. The protesting women are pointing at movie posters with busty heroines and sexy poses, shouting sexism is a disease in our society. One of the women steps forward and throws a stone at the cinema director who's trying to go talk to the protesters. Arrest the woman who threw the stone. Yeah. This is fake. Two men in clown masks, it's payday, stormed the auto show and demanded the keys for the most expensive cars on display. When the manager had hesitated, the robber shot him in the leg. One visitor at the event managed to break through a shop window and escape, at least for long enough to call the police. Okay. Please come back, people. Please come back. Good job. Yes. I have to read this. Multiple shots were reported coming from nightclub. That's... Like, this isn't enough people. People are coming back. People are coming back. Yeah, not a bomb threat. I know. Okay. I don't have enough time, but I'm sending everyone. We got some carjacking frames. It's still not enough. Here, for this investigation, I'm going to put on some people um, from the other staff as well. They can work on that tomorrow. 
Yeah, you can have villain Robins. I'm also gonna go. Ooh, no, no. It's fine. I'll do it tomorrow. The Masquerade Club, all the employees and visitors wear masks and costumes. People outside are dancing quietly, but there's the sound of claps coming from further inside. Go deeper into the hall. It's Squirrel Girl! What the fuck? They put Squirrel Girl in my game? That's my girl! What the fuck? Um, go deeper into the hall. The music stops and a shot rings out. The dancers start to stampede. A guy in a hockey mask flashes again and pushes over. Squirrel Girl! No! Doreen! Doreen! Um, shoot him. Fuck it. <sighs> Runs out in the street, gets in a car, and continues shooting at the police. Shoot his tires. Yes! Good job! My backup got there. They should be fine. Good job. That was a good day. Now, Ozaki, I need you to come tomorrow. Okay, okay. <clears throat> um, no, you can't go home. No, you can't go home. Yeah, Barton, you can go home. Interesting, we got a stripe. I think this is the staff I should use it on. Ah, oh, Kochi needs it. Kochi deserves it so much. She's been putting in work from the start. She deserves it more than anyone, I would say. All right, so... Police Academy, Ozaki. are just those people still. Paid the snitch. Batinsky flunked. Not surprised. I don't know if you come to mass, but if you do, you may know that our most enlightened and progressive parishioners donate absurd sums of money to curry the favor of God's blessed powder. Truly, this powder is mana from the heavens, which clears the mind in preparation for the coming of the Antichrist, as we all know. You don't have to tell me that. Duh. Unfortunately, some of our flock have been turned from the house of the Lord for outside the enemies of Jesus sell them fake satanic powder. They're undercutting our God-blessed prices. It would be a great thing if you were to get rid of them as our Lord Jesus drove the merchants from the house of God. Well, if you put it that way, of course I will. Duh. Yeah. We're going. A drunk driver drove his van into a bus stop, knocking over several people. The van stalled out, and now the unsteady driver is clumsily trying to escape. Bailey. Song. Darnell Numata. They can deal with that just fine. Ah, oh, this song is so good. Retiree Frank Cedar complains that someone has stolen his lawn. What?! Like clockwork. Oh, somebody cuts his lawn. Right. Okay. It's um, it's like a mower. You know, gardeners. I see you do not wish to delay the arrival of the Antichrist any more than I do. Exactly. After all, he cannot be arrested or put in jail. Exactly. Henceforth, any of our church services are available to you at reduced rates. Also, please accept me from me, the Bishop of Freeburg. There's some money as a personal gift. Wow, 75 bucks. We're in the money. We're in the money. We could bless the police station. That's awesome. We could be forgiven of sins, which is awesome. Um, we could touch the relics kept in the cathedral. Great. Um, we could deliver a phone eulogy. Wow. Um, deliver a regular eulogy. Why would I spend 200 less dollars to get it on the phone? The bishop will personally pray for the happiness and health of Jack's family. Wow. The bishop of free work will personally deliver a sermon to all officers and detectives at the station. God, I wish I had these sooner. These are all so helpful. 
<laughs> that is funny. $25,000 to bless this police station is ludicrous. I don't know if those do anything. I'm so curious as to if those actually do something. <laughs> Marketing district is seeing increased cases of pickpocketing and the media are already up in arms about it. You're to send two cops to the area. Increase the perception of police protection. There are journalists scurrying about. Okay, Trevor and Powers can go to that. And everyone else is back. That's awesome. The lawn is cut by a neighborhood boy at the request of him. Yep, yep. Could have told you that. Oh, in fact, I did. An employee at the shopping center was dressed in a tomato costume to advertise a new tomato paste. He accidentally frightened professional boxer Joshua Drake, who shouted and jumped on him and started pummeling him with full force. That could kill him. Jesus. Passersby tried to separate them, but they received the boxer's fury and a massive fight broke out. Okay, that's a lot. Bailey uh, heads that with Gibbons, Song, Numata, and Curtis. Play another song that has run out. Star by Annecy. It's a nice one. <clears throat> I, I, I really thought Ozaki was going to come back with all his stats. Driver of a luxurious white Cadillac ran over a black teenager and then attempted to flee the scene, but lost control and drove into a column. Angry residents in the area have come out into the street. Wow. I wish I could bring the paddy wagon, but I cannot. It is busy. Trevor and Powers are gone. Oh. I can't give you backup, no. Thank you. Postal employee reported that a letter was discovered with some powder inside. An inscription reads, burn in hell. Employee is afraid that the envelope contains a deadly disease. We're all going to die and today's my birthday. I'm sure that's fake. I'm sure that's fake. I'm sure that's fake. <clears throat> Two men are pulling a woman with a bloody head out of the Cadillac. The crowd isn't letting them get her to the hospital. And some are yelling that the cops have failed. We'll deal this by law of the streets. Take out the nightstick. Starts throwing glass bottles and stones at the cops. Fire some shots. Good job. Yep, it was a prank on her birthday. That makes sense. Okay. Man wearing a night costume carrying around a huge sword into the cafe. Placed an order and sat silently in the corner for a couple hours. Everyone stopped paying attention at this point, but then he stood up, took his sword, and began swinging it around with all his strength. He's already inflicted severe injuries on several patrons of the restaurant. That is fucked. We're sending everyone. The music is more loud than your voice? Thank you. I, I do not want that. I do not want that. Let's play another song. Um, let's play Fire in the Brain, and you can tell me if it's still too loud. I don't want it to be too loud, so... That is good knowledge. <clears throat> Bill Buckler said his neighbor Derek Ruers asked him to watch his farm when he went on vacation with his family. Meanwhile, some strange people went over there with a the tractor trying to steal the harvest. There's about a dozen people and they're robbing my friend blind. There's a huge clown running around the mall, tried to scare me to death. I got a disease, got a note from the doctor that clown got no right to scare me. Nope. I gotta send, like, everyone, I think. Sure, you can have back up. Fine. I don't know, maybe that was stupid to send the back up. Here. 
Is that better? This. Do 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 do. Fuck! Jesus, no. Okay, good. Clown was hired to promote the children's amusement park after we were to be in the mall. Seeing the police, the suspects begin to argue and shout in an unknown language. The two women manage to escape and hide somewhere on the farm. Search the area. Good job. Oh, that was a bad one, though. That, that, that last call, that was a bad one. <clears throat> They're back. Well, the legendary singer Gennaro Crespo... Huh? Was giving a performance. Someone threw a large ear of corn at the musician, smashed his head. Despite a bit of blood, Mr. Crespo showed no concern, laughed it off, and got ready to continue. Nevertheless, the concert organizer refused and made everyone turn in their cameras. We can't let the audience leave until the offender has been detained. They shouted into the police line. We got a large crowd here. Send everyone you have available so we can get this done. I don't know. Should I? Maybe. All right, let's try this. I saw a muddy young fellow wearing a hood whirling through the alley near the fur first store. Then I got distracted. I get like that sometimes. I remember I heard some rumbling and hissing like cars running into each other. Frank scammer? No. I had just parked my car near the fur first shop and a boy in the hood popped through the gate, grabbed my bag from my shoulder and disappeared. Grabs, runs. <clears throat> Interesting. Does he steal the car? Um, as soon as I stepped away from the car, he dashed inside and was off like a bolt. Through the very first turn, he hit the high fire agent, ran around like a cowardly dog. Oh, okay. The car is insured, but he's gonna replace my favorite Snow White handbag. What, what, what is this this phone call? This is she calls the police or something? Camera at the intersection says a convertible crashing into a fire hydrant water spraying like a fountain. A short time later, a thing hooded figure climbs to the car runs away down the street. Who's the viewer who watches you the most? Probably you. <laughs> Which I appreciate. You on, um, you on Twitch, and, um, and, uh, um, Nether on YouTube, but that's who it is. What is the phone call for? Okay, hold on. I need to click on this immediately. Oh. <laughs> Go back to the investigation. Do you really think this? Yes. Yes, I do. She pulls up. She gets out of the car. I don't know what the phone call's about. He he grabs this while she's on the phone. Wait, hold on. Trees the yellow paint on the fire hydrant. Okay. Walking down the street when some guy in a hood came right at me. He was all wet. He was a real mess. He was from a shipwreck. He ran into me hard. Almost broke my ribs. I hurried to call the police. Wait. Grab my bag. I heard to call the police. The damn pest must have been hiding because... Okay, right. Like this. Can the moderators change the description? I think so, yeah. Yeah. Um, she gets off. She gets out. She gets stolen. She calls. He gets in. He steals. He crashes. He runs. What's wrong about that? That's right. That should be right. 
And it's a white bag with a yellow car. Yellow car, white bag, yellow car, white bag, yellow car, white bag, yellow car, white bag. Those are all right. Is it the way he steals the car? He dashed inside and was off like a bolt. Ran away like a cowardly dog. Was it because he's not wearing a hood? Was it someone else who stole it? It's not the yellow bag, that's for sure. Cars running into each other. I don't know, this person doesn't even seem very... <sighs> this might be this guy. No, it, it has to be him. Is this not the fur fur shop or something? The first image is not right, really. Okay. I don't know. Where else would it go if not there? I mean, you can't you can't move this if that's what you're talking about. Hmm. You can't move the first and last one, the very first. So this is the first one. The ones with tape on them are first. This is tough. Do I really not have enough frames? Maybe I don't. Steel. Must have been hiding nearby. As soon as I stepped away, he dashed inside and was off like a bolt. He hit a fire hydrant and ran away. As soon as I stepped away from the car, he dashed inside and was off like a bolt. Sure. Tanner Scott High School Senior. Sure. <sighs> Tanner Scott works at the car wash. Okay, we, we can do those tomorrow. Because that's when my people will be here, my detectives. And then this call's happening. 412A. Good job. Okay. Euthanasia should be a personal choice. Interesting. I will be right back real quick. Real quick. All right, I am back. Oh, you just counted a lot? Awesome, great. <laughs> Thanks for filling my chat with numbers. That was awesome. Some friends of mine asked to help out their animal shelter. I don't care. If you drank too much, you can go home. You cannot go home. Okay. Then let's play some... Where is it? None of these. 
<clears throat> Where is it? Not Cello Sonata. What the heck? Is it one of the first? Am I crazy or am I missing one? Yeah, string quartet number one. That's what I was looking for. 31 sec, that wasn't real quick. I feel like that was pretty freaking quick, personally. That's just me. Joshua Ehar, funeral, very sad. Um, school or car wash? Let's send Robbins and Samadhi to the car wash to try to get him. You're thinking too much? Yes, I always do. Yes, that is true. You are right. Several dozen workers have gone on strike over layoffs and wage cuts. For a while, they were expecting someone from the company to negotiate with them, but this never happened. The protesters have armed themselves with improvised weapons, started to break down the fence. That's a brutal one. Let's send everyone. And then these three can work on anything else that happens. We'll see. <clears throat> Anyone good here yet? Nope. I would like some new officers, please. In Inside a booth in the ladies' public toilet, a woman was her overheard holding a man against his will, attempting to blackmail him into having sex. Crystal Harrington only vaguely made out part of their conversation and immediately ran to find a phone to call police. That's fake. That is fake. She didn't hear the full conversation. Guarantee it's fake. Good job, Robin and Samadhi. Good job, Mole. <clears throat> the riot went well. Because of that, I could send people to this. Uh, it's just, it's fake. It has to be fake. If it's real, I'll feel bad. What's your favorite emoji out of those? Let me see. They all look nice. Yeah, it was fake. Yep. Um, I like the pink ones. I'm going to say my favorite one is the, the pink haired girl with the heart. But I also like the pink haired girl with the, um, the... The like the the blue outfit, that one. Those are my top two. Mr. Boyd, I have the misfortune of having a family. My only daughter is marrying a complete idiot. She's requiring that the wedding take place on the roof of my skyscraper and as soon as possible. Very nice. Yes, yes, yes. I want to protect my daughter from making the biggest mistake of her life, so I've organized a grand wedding and reception. I ask that you arrest the groom at the altar on some monstrous charges, like child pornography, for example. Better for my daughter to survive that horrible moan of shame in front of a hundred people than live in shame every day for the rest of her life. Well, that's a terrible thing to ask me to do, but I'm going to do it because I'm crazy and like to do all the things. Mine are these? Nice. I like those. Yeah, yeah, good ones. Two women tried to quietly pocket some expensive jewelry at the boutique, but the guards saw everything, stopped them, and demanded that they turn out their pockets. One of the women then pulled a gun from her purse and began to threaten the store's employees. Let's send Grant Robbins, Spain, and Stokes. Y'all can deal with that. Security guard reports that an armed man wearing a frock coat burst into the registry office. He was dragging a young girl in a white dress behind him and demanded that staff immediately arrange their marriage. Um. Jeez. Yeah. I, I have to keep two people just in case. Okay. Anakis Cors Corp paid us. <clears throat> oh, shit. Man grips the girl's arm tightly, aims a shotgun at a registry office employee. She says, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Um, sneak behind him, stun him. 
good job. A waitress says that a suspicious looking man in a rumple jacket has been sitting at a table for several hours. He didn't order anything. I brought him coffee. He just sat there staring at me. Afraid he's going to watch me until my shift is over and then it's scary to imagine. Jeez, that's probably a fake call. Fine. You can have Mitchell. <clears throat> I don't want to send it, but God, I, I don't want anything bad to happen to you. Send Thompson and Batinsky to this and, and Steele. Let's just, just send the, the B team to that one. You know, if it's if it's serious, it's serious. I don't think... Oh, fuck. Anonymous call. Someone's unloading an arm shipment at the port. <sighs> Karen Sparkle's manager canceled the free break stop on an incredibly popular singer's tour. She was originally scheduled to perform in town next month, and incense fans have gathered around the ice arena where the concert was to be held, demanding to speak with Karen immediately. Senior guard Trevor Hernandez sent his men to calm down the crowd, but the guards were severely beaten. The crowd has begun to break open doors and windows. Fuck. How do I deal with these? I shouldn't have sent back up. Martin Coker, the owner of a local grocery store that says that two older women with gym bags are hanging around the parking lot selling cigarettes. I can barely make ends meet. I don't care. Whatever. Fired. Okay. I mean, like, I have to send everyone to that and just send everyone else here to the riot. You know what? I love all nice, nice. Please come back, please come back, please come back, please come back. Uh, I couldn't, I couldn't! Someone died! Alright, Grant, Mitchell, fucking Spain Stokes. I don't know. Mitchell doesn't need to go. Grant, Spain Stokes. God, that was bad! I shouldn't have gone to that fake call. Four large men in black suits are loading boxes into the van. There's three more armed guards. Send a bullet through the tire. Men with machine guns fire at the cops. The others open one of the boxes, pull out a grenade launcher. Stun guns. Stun grenades. Yep. Good. At least that went well. Two bearded men came to the train station, began to pray, went into different corners of the depot, took off the jackets. They were wearing suicide vests. One of the attackers detonated his vest, but the other man's vest didn't work. He fled in a panic at the back room of the station. Really? Really? SWAT won't be back in time if that's real, which it sounds real, honestly. Like, that's why I'm surprised. Do you think there will be World War III? I hope not. <laughs> I hope not. World War Three. No thanks. I'm good. If they ask for backup, I'll send backup. I mean, uh, it's the end of the day anyway. So yeah, yeah. Come on, please ask for backup, honestly. I'd send you the SWAT if I could. There's all my best cops. Don't get them killed. We'll see. <laughs> we will see if they get murdered or not. Good job. Okay, that yeah, that was messed up. <laughs> 